Welcome to the Beholder EC1 Camera Stabilizer PID Tuning Update. If you want the best in camera stabilization, don't forget to get the best in support from Al Dolly. Customers of Al Dolly get one year of technical support. Thank you. Continuing on, let's connect the EC1 to the computer. Download Simple BGC from Basecam Electronics and follow their installation instructions. Also, read the Simple BGC manual. It is well worth the effort. To connect the EC1 to Simple BGC, turn on the stabilizer with the camera balanced in the gimbal. Connect to the stabilizer by way of the mini USB port in the EC1's handle. We are using Mac OS and must launch the program from the .jar file using Java. When Simple BGC is open, select the connection and click Connect. Before moving forward, let's save the original profile. Go to File, Save All Profiles to a File, Title that file. We're just going to use our old title here. If necessary, these profiles can be used to restore the stabilizer. Now let's update the firmware. Go to Upgrade, click on Check for Updates. Select Firmware 2.60B4. Click Upgrade and click Skip. There's no need to enter your email address. And then now just wait for the blue bar to go across the screen. and wait. The program will disconnect once the firmware has been updated. Now in order to make a connection again to Simple BGC, the program must be relaunched. Now we need to reconnect the EC1 to Simple BGC and update the stabilizer to the newest factory profiles. Click connect to continue on. Once your stabilizer is connected to Simple BGC, go to file, load profiles from a file, select the profile supplied from Al Dolly, click open, Go to board and write all profiles to board. You'll hear your EC1 make some beeping sounds and once it finishes that, the profiles will be loaded in. Now here is one little tip about Simple BGC. The last profile written to the stabilizer will be the default starting profile. So if you want your stabilizer to start in lock mode, click on profile 1 like shown and hit write. This means that every time the stabilizer is started up, it will default to profile 1. We at Aldali personally prefer our stabilizers to start in Profile 3. Once you have the profiles installed, disconnect the stabilizer and test. To continue forward, we'll need to relaunch Simple BGC and again connect the EC1 to Simple BGC. If your EC1 is experiencing oscillations, check the camera balance before continuing on with PID tuning. If oscillations are present due to your camera setup being too small a mass or a distorted center of gravity due to a very large lens and a small camera body, PID tuning will be necessary. Please do not change any settings not covered in this video. It is very easy to break the EC1 with incorrect settings. Using the monitoring tab will help identify which axes the oscillations are coming from. You can hide a certain axis by clicking on them. Moving on to the basic tab, you can adjust the overall power of the stabilizer. If you have a lighter camera setup, maybe reducing the power will help lower the oscillations. Also changing the D values can reduce the power that way. If you have a heavier camera setup, increasing the power settings or the D value will help. Once you've made changes, hit right. Under advanced, changes can be made to additional PID gains. This is also another way of tuning out oscillations. And the last tab to check for tuning out oscillations is the filter tab. By enabling different filters, you can tune out oscillations that way too. Under service tab, this is where the mode selection button can be assigned different functions such as profile assignments or look down. 
by deselecting these boxes will silence all sounds. The follow tab is where adjustments can be made to the different follow modes, such as dead band and degrees. After 10 degrees, the stabilizer will start following the movement of the operator. Changes to speed can be done down here. Under encoders is where you can calibrate the encoders of the stabilizer and calibrate the offset. Now, before you calibrate the encoders in the stabilizer, make sure your camera is 100% balanced to the best of your ability. Secondly, make sure the stabilizer is secured and won't tip over. Once your stabilizer is secure, click on Calibrate Field. Once the stabilizer is done, it'll make a chime. If you want your stabilizer to start in a different position, you can use Calibration Offset. Adjust your stabilizer to the position you like and hit Calibrate Offset. Under Debug is where you can check the status of your EC1's hardware. Currently, no problems are detected. Well, thank you for watching. If you're gonna get an EC1, don't get stuck. Get the best of support for your camera stabilizer from Al Dolly. Thank mm -hmm. you.